Marvel Comics is going to be doubling down on wokeness in their upcoming X-Men comics. I think this announcement puts to rest the idea that people at the Walt Disney Company, specifically their leadership, is worried about wokeness damaging the company's brand and significantly driving people away and ensuring that they lose more and more money. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trench Report. Marvel Comics veteran Tom Brevoort made this announcement uh, just uh, the other day, December 21st. He says, well, this X-Men graphic sure brought people out in force. One reminder that I thought wouldn't be necessary, express whatever opinion you like, but if you show up with homophobia or bigotry or hate speak of any sort, it'll be an instant block. Uh, homophobia is an act misnomer. It is uh, people trying to justify their sin by attacking others. It is projection to a T. Uh, bigotry is pr pretty much the same word. Uh, they don't even know what the term is anymore. It it's, it's really hilarious when you see people uh, call uh, people of faith bigots uh, because it truly shows they have no understanding of what that word means and they've tried to co-opt it. But nevertheless, that is what Tom Brevoort had to say already calling people who do not like the upcoming X-Men uh, event, X-Men from the Ashes, which is coming out on July 2020, coming out in July 2024, already uh, putting up uh, the signals that if you don't like this, you're a homophobe, you're a bigot, and you're just a hate speaker. Interestingly enough here, uh, we had this comment from Gravin Knight. He said, how about you tell a good story and stop shoving the message down our throats? Tom Brevoort says, it's X-Men. The message is the premise. I think that makes it abundantly clear that it will indeed have a lot of sinful behavior trying to uh, show that as something good. That is what Marvel pretty much does nowadays. And that is why people are abandoning them en masse. And I think why we need more people to abandon them. Their sales should be at zero for promoting this kind of degeneracy. And the idea that it is the premise shows you that these people just don't care. They are going to push this agenda no matter what. And the idea that people think that uh, people at Disney think that that's going to somehow go away uh, seems to be a lot of people seem to believe that. I don't think Gary uh, is saying this here because he is responding to this headline, which I think is from EV Magazine, and they're completely misinterpreting uh, what the actual story is. But their headline read, Disney is wor worried that Woke is ruining their brand after consistent flops. A lot of people are buying into this. You can see my tweet there. Don't believe that Disney is actually worried about this. And I don't. I don't think they are. This is the perfect example. We've seen this before. We just saw it last year with Star Wars 2. It was wasn't Tom Brevoort. It was the official Star Wars account uh, trying to defend their product, even though it was absolutely terrible. Saying we are proud to welcome Moses Ingram to the Star Wars family and excited for Reva's story to unfold. If anyone intends to make her feel in any way unwelcome, we have only one thing to say. We resist. So any kind of criticism of the show, they were going to paint you as a racist. And that's indeed what they did here in this follow-up tweet. There are more than 20 million sentient species in the Star Wars galaxy. Don't choose to be a racist. So if you had any kind of criticism about the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, if you have any kind of criticism about Moses Ingram's acting in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, you were a racist, according to Star Wars. So we've seen this playbook over and over and over again from the Walt Disney Company and its subsidiaries. And again, I do not think We've seen any evidence of them changing or that anyone inside the Walt Disney Company, any of their leadership is really worried about wokeness really doing any kind of significant damage to them because these people don't care. It's all about the agenda for them. They want the wokeness. That is what they are trying to push. It's not about profits or selling anything. I think at the end of the day, a lot of these people like Tom Brevoort, he thinks that he's safe in his job and he's going to push this agenda no matter what. And we've seen some of this agenda already recently in uh, some of those X-Men comics where they retconned uh, how Nightcrawler was born. He is now the son of uh, like a, two lesbians. It's absolutely degenerate. It's sick. It's hedonistic. And uh, it should be in the trash. Like no one should be buying this. But as far as, uh, let's go back to this here. As far as this idea that Disney is worried that Woke is ruining their brand, uh, this is coming from this uh, SEC form where they said that one of the risks that they face is relating to misalignment with public and consumer tastes and preferences for entertainment, travel, and consumer product, which impact demand for our entertainment offerings and products and the profitability of any of our businesses. So they're saying that this is a risk they face. This does not say that they are worried about it. It is just a risk they face. And if you go down here, you can see 
one of the things that they are uh, specifically what they see as a risk. It says, moreover, we must often invest substantial amounts in content production and acquisition, acquisition of sports rights, launch of new sports related studio programming, theme park attractions, cruise ships or hotels and other facilities or customer facing platforms before we know the extent to which these products will earn consumer acceptance. And these products may be introduced into a significantly different market or economic or social climate from the one we anticipated at the time at the time of the investment decisions. Generally, our revenues and profitability are adversely impacted when our entertainment offerings and products, as well as our methods to make our offerings and products available to consumers, do not achieve sufficient consumer acceptance. Furthermore, consumers' perceptions of our positions on matters of public interest, including our efforts to, to achieve certain of our environmental and social goals, goals often differ widely and present risks to our reputation and brand. So that is the key point right there. Consumers' perceptions of our position on matters of public interest, including our efforts to achieve certain of our environmental and social goals, often differ widely and present risks to our reputation and brand. So they're saying that is a risk, but they are not worried about the environmental and social goals they are trying to achieve. They just are recognizing that they are in contrast with or in conflict with what their consumers, or the people they're trying to sell their products to, actually believe. And they're and again, this goes to the point that they are trying to sell the message they are trying to indoctrinate you into these disordered lifestyles into this hedonism culture and that is exactly what they're trying to do so they recognize that it is a risk but they are not worried about taking that risk so i think those are two different things and i think people seem to be uh not really understanding that but this is what is happening at the walt disney company and we're seeing them double down on this the x-men is just another example of this like this stuff needs to be flushed down the toilet, but they are going to continue to keep pooping over and over and over again on you until you finally say no and reject it outright. And that we are seeing that we I think we are seeing a lot of that. We are seeing their movies bomb at the box office pretty much over a billion, potentially $2 billion in losses this year. Their theme parks seem to be going down as well. So we are seeing a soft boycott, I think, happening, but we need to get that to zero because we should be rejecting this stuff outright. Those are my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you guys think on this. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.